all just having fun, just family time, fun, being silly, I mean, forgetting all the adversity we went through. It has been a day for all of us to be grateful, but especially for the people of Puerto Rico who survived a Category 5 hurricane two months ago. Some have come to the Tampa Bay area fleeing the ravaged conditions on that island. Nightside's Bianca Grolo spent Thanksgiving Day with a family who had a lot to celebrate on this day. It's the song that fills every Puerto Rican's heart with pride, and this family gets to sing it together in the mainland after going through Hurricane Maria. Una it's a blessing, Araceli Joseph says. She arrived in Tampa from Yabucoa, Puerto Rico, where she still doesn't have electricity. It had been a long time since we got to sleep with air conditioning, she says, but the bigger perk was getting to see her grandson for the first time since he was born. <laughs> <laughs> Those hugs continued as the family got together to give things for what they still have, each other. Basically, I thank Maria because now all my family is just here. Janita Navarro welcomed her parents and her grandfather after very tough days on the island. Now you have to go and get the water. You have to use, uh, do everything early before it gets nighttime because now you have to use candles and flashlights, so it's like... We go back to our great-grandparents' era. The lack of power, water, and supplies was taking a toll. Well, I started getting, like, very sick, tired. And then my daughter said, you know what, come over to Tampa, we'll take care of you. Her dad had to be rushed to the hospital and then evacuated when it flooded. <laughs> On Thanksgiving night, he was dancing and celebrating his birthday. They're not planning on staying in Tampa. They're recharging, says Julio Navarro, building up the energy to go back to the island. That's why his daughter wanted to make this their night. The situation that people pass there, Maria, I just do this to bring some peace, happiness, trying to forget what happened in Puerto Rico. What they won't forget are these moments of quality time they're spending together. In Tampa, Bianca Grolo, 10 News. So much positivity from a family that has been through so much more than most of us will experience in our lifetime. Well, speaking of the conditions in Puerto Rico, Whitefish is back to work trying to restore power there. On Monday, the energy company stopped operating because of a pay dispute with the Island Nations Power Company. Whitefish says it now received payment from that company and a payment that's enough to get the crews to finish repairs on a critical transmission line. 